Hi there, Christian Ross here with Octopus Do. I've got a quick tip for you. This is going to be really short, so you gotta pay attention. So the trick I'm going to show you came from my good friend, Sandra Younger, and she is the inventor of the Naughty Do-It-All board. Just Google her name or look up Naughty Do-It-All board and you will find so much information from her out there. This fabulous board is great for making all kinds of different things like wrap bracelets and uh, really so much. But what I wanted to show you specifically was how to get a cord such as a silk cord or eslon or waxed cord through a bead without a needle. Well, this trick she showed me is called a leadered needle, as in follow the leader. Um, I'll show you. I did wanna say that yes, there are other options such as using a big eye needle but the problem with using something like a big eye needle is you are adding the width of the needle to your folded over cord. And you really just want to take up as little space as possible when you're trying to get one of these cords through these beads, because especially if you're working with pearls, they generally have really small holes. So yes, a big eye needle works in a lot of cases, but when it doesn't, here's a cool trick. So the first thing that I'm going to need is a regular beading needle. So here I have, well, this is close to regular beading needle. This is a size, I'm gonna guess about a size 10, but it's my jewel loom needle. So it's a nice, long, stiff needle, and it's very thin. So if I need to go through a bead, it's definitely going to go through a bead with no problem at all. So here I have just a regular bead off a bead strand, no problem getting this needle through. What about this? I have Eslon here. I can't fit this Eslon through the teeny tiny hole in a seed bead needle. So what do I do? Well, that's where the leader needle comes in. What you do is you take a little bit, maybe 10 inches or so. Don't really need that much, but that gives you a lot to work with. Just the end of your fire line or wildfire. And I'm just going to cut a small piece off of this is Fireline, um, Fireline Wildfire, uh, anything like that works really well because it's very strong and doesn't break. This particular size is a six pound size, which is pretty even, pretty right there in the middle. All right, so I take the end of my Fireline and I thread my seed bead needle. There we go, easy as can be. So I have my regular needle, there we go, have my needle and I have my fire line coming off the end of it. Now, I'm going to take one of the legs of the fire line here, not both legs, just one side, and going to take my Eslon here. And Eslon is an upholst upholstery thread that's used a lot for kumihimo, but you can use it for decorative stitching. You can knot with it, you can string with it, all kinds of things. What I'm going to do is as if I were threading this through a needle, I'm going to keep a tail of about six inches or so, and I'm taking the end of this fire line and I'm tying a knot, just a simple knot so it's an overhand knot. I go one and then come back and do one more. So this would be like you were tying a knot in your shoes instead of a bow. All right, let me show you what this configuration looks like up close. So I have my needle. I have my fire line going through the needle with one side loose. Again, that's to keep the bulk down. 
but then the other side is tied to my Eslon. The Eslon has a bit of a tail on it, and then I have the whole length that I would be using for my project, and I can snip that. So now I have a leadered needle. I'm going to tie a knot the end of my Eslon here so nothing falls off. And now let's string a couple of beads and we'll see what that looks like. So there we go. Got the bead, it's going over the needle. That slides down and now we get to the test. The Eslon. So that fire line pulled the Eslon through. Pull that down and now I have this bead very easily strung on my S-line. That's gonna work great for you if you are hand knotting, if you are working with um, a ladder stitch for a bracelet, uh, like a wrap bracelet. It's gonna work for so many different things, you would be amazed. So a leadered needle is really going to help you in a pinch. So always keep an extra seed bead needle and a little bit of fire line handy because it will definitely come in handy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to Octopus Do and give me a like below. Feel free to send me any comments or questions. Definitely look forward to those. Use this tip because now you know you can go make something.